Last time, Bruce the shark had gone to see Rufus the owl for help. Bruce needed to lose a few pounds to fit into his tuxedo. Rufus thought his new invention might be able to shed off a few pounds. Unfortunately, something went wrong and Bruce was accidentally shrunk to the size of a guppy. Hello, Denise. Oh yeah, Sean and friends? Oh yeah, yeah, send them back. Thank you. Hey guys, come on in. Yes, take a seat. Hey, Sean. Rufus. Holda. Siri. Hopper. Hey, Bruce, how you doing? Yeah, I'm sure. So sorry. So Rufus, what are we looking at? I see. Is there any way to reverse it? I was afraid of that. So what do we do? How do we make Bruce big again? Your growth serum? Yes, Sean used that on his pumpkin. Hopper, would you revive Bruce? Thank you. No, no, Rufus, you're going to have to think of something else. Oh, because you're no longer big, do you think people are going to bully you because of your small size? Yeah, I mean, I understand where you're coming from. Uh, yes, Holda. Uh, Sadly, there are some people who think that just because someone is small or, or different, they aren't as valuable to God, or they shouldn't be treated like everyone else. My thoughts exactly, Hopper. But God tells us all people are created like Him, no matter what we look like, no matter how big, and no matter how small. And because we're all created like God, God wants us to treat everyone the same. Everyone has value. Everyone's special. Everyone's important to God. Yes, Sean. A person is a person no matter how small. Even if that person is a shark. So, Bruce, you know your friends here have your back and will protect you from the bullies who haven't learned that everyone is a person to God. Don't worry, Bruce. We'll figure out something. Rufus will figure this out, I'm sure. And until then, you got us. Thank you, Hopper. I know you'll look out to Bruce until we find solutions. Until then, Rufus, you get to work. Let's see if we can make Bruce big again.